Pardon? What's a jibber jabber? No. No, in New Zealand we have hedgehogs. What do we have in New Zealand? Don't remember. Anyway, guys, this morning I want to show you why you need to be getting an O light. This is without. <gasps> okay, that's quite bright. This uh, little exercise didn't really go according to plan. But look how bright it is. And then, because it's, it's still nighttime, this is actually better, but really. This is what a jibber jabber is, guys. Looking forward to changing the car so we're not sat in a two-seater, which is highly impractical if you ask me. And so somewhere like Baz can sit instead of... <laughs> Look how he sits though. Didn't you think that's funny? Look at his foot. That's how he sits, waiting for dad on me. Good times. Something we talk about a lot is a three hour work day. We do indeed. Uh, why is this important? Because I think a lot of people when they're building a business is they focus so much on becoming busy, you know, filling out their day and they tie that to making money and being successful. But what's really important is actually you've still got time to work on yourself uh, so you can serve your clients or you can serve your clients and um, serve your business in a better way. Also, um, you know, to, to focus on what to do after you've become more successful in your business as well. So, for example, we spend a lot of our day now focusing on investments and how else we can look to grow ourselves so we, in turn, are more valuable to our clients longer term. Um, so I think that's, for us, more important than getting stuck in the workday every single day, which is basically just like a job anyway. Hey guys, so there are a lot of coaches and consultants who are taking on new clients, but they aren't talking about them. They're almost kind of treating them as this like big secret. But what you've got to understand is there is so much value um, and educational, helpful content ideas that are coming through from working with clients, from you know their wins, their challenges, their any setbacks that they're having. These are all content ideas. But if we keep them to ourselves or we don't know how to feature them, we're actually leaving a lot of cash on the table 
every single time that we're working with them. So I've just created a post that really helping you guys to understand how you can actually feature your clients and create profitable um, content ideas so that you're not stuck knowing what to write or how to feature them but actually using their journey um, in a way that is going to attract more of your best clients and help you become more profitable. Hey guys, so I have just uploaded a post earlier this morning and it's really talking about why you should be sharing your client's journey and sharing your client's wins and challenges and all the cool things that you're working on together um, as a way to- Here's the thing, I posted the post this morning talking about the importance of sharing your client's results and then I've just created an IGTV video which I've uploaded to Facebook which will later go onto my YouTube. Um, and why this is important is because that was a question that we had received from one of our clients wanting to know what the rules were, what the guidelines were, um, and how she was able to do that um, without upsetting anyone or just what is the process. So I created a piece of content from that question. Now, this is also what I'm talking about. It's not just documenting and, and sharing the results, but actually highlighting and talking about the questions that your clients are asking of you, because chances are if they're asking you that question. There's people in your audience right now who also have the same questions, and this is what creates helpful and valuable content. Everything is frameworked and everything is super profitable content, if you're listening. So we have beautiful bouquet of flowers at home, but we actually don't have a vase, which is why we're in here. <laughs>